Hey everyone, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Chris. I'm a developer on the reseller team here in Scottsdale and today I'm going to be showing you around our exciting new conversion tracking feature. Uh, this has actually been a highly requested and highly anticipated feature from many of our resellers for quite some time now and our infrastructure is now at a point where we can feasibly support it uh, leveraging Google Analytics. So what is conversion tracking? Well to put it simply, it's basically the ability to show you what happens on your website after a customer interacts with your ads. So by adding this functionality to the reseller storefront, resellers now have all the data that they need to glean insights about how their customers use their site, which will ultimately enable them to make smarter, more informed business decisions leading to higher revenues. So how do we set up conversion tracking as a reseller? Well, right now I'm in the reseller control center on the tracking page, which can be found under the storefront menu and clicking on the tracking link. And there's this analytics page here. It's asking us to enter our Google Analytics ID. So in order to do that, we'll need to set up a Google Analytics account, which I have already done over here in this tab. We can see that I have a Google Analytics account and we also need to find the ID for it. So looking at it, you can see that my ID is right here, UA-138, and we don't need to know the rest at this point in time, but just remember the UA-138 part for the sake of this demo. With that, I'll grab the ID, I'll put it in here, and hit save. Now, what that has done is it has wired up Google Analytics to my reseller website. Going over to this tab, we're now going to operate under the context of a reseller customer. I'm going to take you through the journey of a shopper on a reseller site uh, with analytics to kind of show you what data is being captured for the reseller when they want to use it. Immediately you'll notice that upon visiting my site, there's a Google Analytics tag loaded. That UA-138 that I asked you to remember is loaded on the site, meaning that it's going to collect and send data to that particular Google Analytics dashboard. And just for the sake of thorough, being thorough, I'm going to also open a network tab and, and trace against that as we go throughout. So let's say I'm a customer, I land on this homepage through an ad, and maybe the ad is talking about emails, I can go ahead and click on email. There's actually a lot of noise here, so I'll filter it down to that UA-138, and we can see that collection calls are being triggered uh, as we navigate through the site every time there's a page view. So let's add personal email to our cart. Now this is going to bounce us over to the configuration page, which is actually on a different application, but our, our Google Analytics is still present there and as we can see from an additional collect call being added. Let's continue with the default options. Once again, now that we're on the cart, we can also see that the collection is still being made for that Google Analytics ID, meaning that the reseller will have data uh, as, the resell as the customer interacts with the cart. I have email in my cart now, and everything looks good, so we can go ahead and complete our purchase. We can also see there are more events fired, uh, more collections here. This one in particular, since we are doing conversion tracking, which indicates that we want to be making sales, we'll take note that there is a path of slash purchase that's being sent to Google Analytics. This will be important for setting up goals on the resellers end later on. Now, this was the journey of a customer, so let's go into the Google Analytics dashboard and see what the reseller sees uh, from this side. Well, this is the home page of the dashboard, and I just want to make it clear that I'm not using this demo as a how-to guide for using GA, um, mainly just showing you the data points that are being captured so that resellers, and demonstrating the abilities that resellers have to track their conversions now. So Google Analytics has tons of capabilities, tons of different reports, as you can see here, uh, but we're going to be uh, primarily concerned about goals right now because goals are a great way to track against order conversions. So how do we set up goals on the reseller's end? Well, as a reseller on my Google Analytics dashboard, to go to goals, I can click on this admin section here, and then there's a tab for goals, and this is going to take me to the goals page. This goals page has several different goals that I've created in advance here, but for the sake of this demo, I would like to show you a simple goal that I made to track conversions. There's three simple steps to go for setting up a conversion tracking goal. Uh, the first of which is selecting which type of predefined template we want to use. In this case, it's an e-commerce site, 
as a reseller storefront. So I want to make the revenue, it's a revenue based goal for placing an order, meaning that a customer completed a purchase. Awesome. Next step is a goal description. So for this, I'm calling it a conversion demo and the type is a destination. A destination goal basically just means that we can call the goal complete when the user reaches a certain page. The goal details are we actually set the destination. In our case, our, our destination is set to purchase. Uh, we can use equals to, begins with, or even regular expressions for more complicated path matching. Uh, but right now, if you remember from our network call, the customer completed the purchase and the Google Analytics call that fired sent this purchase route. So this is how we'll be able to track a successful order conversion. You can also optionally assign monetary values to goals. Uh, we know from reseller data that average order sizes of reseller orders are about 150 US dollars. So we can go ahead and tag that uh, just to average things out. And you can also optionally include funnels, which we'll see in just a moment. In this case, I just had a very simple funnel saying that it, you can use any page and convert on an order. Uh, with that, you can save the goal. And let's get into the real meat of it and see the results of this goal right now. From that, we can just click on this flag on the side, which is labeled for conversions. There's a tab for goals, and I can just go to my overview. From this, I can see some really cool, uh, cool things. Right now it's selected to just, um, just June 12th. So I can do, well, let's, let's compare June 12th to June 13th. So yesterday to today, and we can see our conversions that have happened. So on the 12th, we had quite a few, we had 24 email plan to cart conversions, but I was showing you a conversion demo. So let's take a look at our conversion demo conversions. You can toggle your, your goals in this drop down. We had eight completions, meaning we had eight conversions yesterday, which is great since we know that we get about $150 per order. That equi that's equivalent to $1,350. Awesome. Well, going into the funnels, we can see so many more things here. Um, resellers can, can look at how customers were interacting with their site. So about 45 people entered and 36 of them exited at some point. Maybe, maybe this customer bought went to the email page and decided that product wasn't for them, so they did not continue on with the process of adding to the cart and making the purchase. However, nine of them actually did. And we can see that we have a 20% conversion rate here. And also, since this is just one conversion tracking goal, I did set up some other goals just to demonstrate the flexibility and things that you can do in Google Analytics. Uh, the possibilities are almost endless. Uh, but this is a simple goal for just tracking, hey, a purchase was made. There's no funnel attached. But we can also see more complicated funnels, like let's see how many people add email plans to cart. Well, they enter the through the home page or with different query parameters. Some of them exit the funnel. Some of them get to the email product page and can uh, proceed to the configuration page. And we can just see all this visually, which is really awesome for us. Uh, and uh, by us, I mean the reseller. Uh, with that, we're super excited to launch this feature for our resellers, and it's going to add tremendous value to the program as a whole. Uh, I also want to take a moment to thank the CART team and the traffic team for helping to get this work across the finish line. Uh, both Terrence and Brandon were huge helps in delivering this feature, and they were instrumental in uh, doing so. Uh, they deserve a big thanks from us for being such great collaborators. Uh, but that's all for now. And thanks for tuning in, and we'll be happy to answer any questions that you may have. Mm -hmm.